unleashing my feet on camera. That's my sock. That is so satisfying. It looks like a pile of parmesan. Hi, welcome back to my channel and to my foot peel diary with Footner. You're gonna wanna stick around. Things do get really intense. It's starting to be end of lockdown in a way. It's summer, everyone's wearing open-toed shoes. We're starting to go to like yoga classes and even swimming and then maybe even thinking about some holidays. I haven't had a pedicure in probably about like six to eight months. So I've had a real dry skin buildup. And if there are any new people to the channel, hello. I'm also a model and I need my feet to be looking good all the time. You never know when you're gonna whack them out and they're gonna be photographed or if you're going to a casting. Like I do just need to like look good all the time. <laughs> And a few months ago, I was speaking to a friend and she's like, did I never show you my foot album? In a nutshell, she had used a product that made the skin on her feet shed so much and so well that she dedicated a whole photo album in her iPhone to it. And that's the first time I heard about Footnote. You'll see exactly what it does throughout the video, but honestly, give it a shot. Share it with your girlfriends, share it with the men in your life who probably would never buy anything like this for themselves. I actually gave a packet to my dad, insert pictures here of his foot diary. You know, we all like to feel more confident, especially in summer. And this is just one of those small ways that's actually really effective that can just change your confidence and how you feel about your body. Everything will be linked below in the description bar and I'll put a link to Footner so that you can use exactly the same peel that I have. So without further ado, welcome to my Footner foot peel diary. Let's get started. So this is what the socks look like. They're kind of like plastic bags and you just snip off the top here and then slip your feet in. Removes hard and dry skin, single 60 minute application for baby soft feet. I also decided to take off my nail polish so that that wouldn't get ruined. Just secure it with the sticker where it's a bit big. But it's good because it means one size does fit all. It's also just such a nice reason to sit down for 60 minutes and do nothing. I also have fake tan on my feet, so it'll be interesting to see what happens to that. Freshly washed and dried. Now, apparently, it's gonna take one to seven days for them to shed, and then the shedding process should be done by the 10th day. Welcome to day one of my foot update. There aren't really any changes going on. I've checked my feet and they look pretty normal to me, but I've heard that this is typical. You really have to wait like at least a few days before you actually see any differences. Sometimes it does take a few days to kick in, but patience is a virtue and good things come to those who wait. This is day two. There isn't much action going on, but I wanted to check in anyway so that you know what day two looks like when you do it. I think, is that the beginning of some peeling? Okay, day three. There's definitely peeling happening in kind of smaller areas. A lot on my toes. Here's quite smooth. I still feel like we haven't hit the pinnacle peel yet. I'll show you my other foot. So this one is much the same. It just looks very rough everywhere. Ugh. Just want that to shed already. Day four, getting a bit of peel now. Which is nice. It's happening mainly around like where my blisters are. And it's kind of the same on the toes still. And this is one of my socks. <laughs> I'm imagining taking off my socks tomorrow for my modelling job and this falling out, dusting everywhere. Will's just found me lying on the floor picking my feet. What do you think of me? Gross. <laughs> Absolutely gross. <laughs> do you want to pick a bit? Hang on. Ah! <laughs> That's all skin on the carpet. It's 
day five and I just pulled my socks off and I've been flaking all day. All of this coming off, that's gonna be great. <gasps> I kind of, I don't know if I should like peel it now or let it just do its thing and see how bad it gets. I love all that fresh skin coming through, it's so soft. Ooh. Day six, I think we're on. I've just taken these bad boys out of some sweaty boots, so I'm just gonna. Whoa! Oh my god. Ooh. Unleashing my feet on camera. Oh, crikey. We've just paid for the cleaner as well. <gasps> that was inside my sock. Heels peeling so bad, but to be honest, that's like the part I wanted to peel the most. <gasps> oh, rank. Oh, it's all just dropping on the floor. That's my sock. Whew, been a hot day, lots of walking as well, so I think that's like loosened all the skin. Should we take a close up look? I am so impressed with this because. Do you remember at the beginning, like, the skin was really thick here. I honestly didn't think that the foot peel would be strong enough to break that down, but that has all broken down. That is so satisfying. It looks like a pile of Parmesan shaving stuck to my foot. <gasps> Might be able to see it better in this light. Look, all new baby soft skin here. That's so impressive. Tips of the toes look quite interesting too. I honestly thought that like nothing was really going to happen because it's day six and it wasn't showing much peeling at all but day six for me has really been the one that's kind of done it. I just wake up every morning and I'm excited to see my feet or you know taking my socks off to see what's happened inside my boot during the day and you can see all the new baby skin starting to come through underneath that's like pink and fresh and soft and nice. I love all the smooth, soft skin here. I can't believe this was such thick and dry skin here. It's peeled away so nicely in my boots. Look at the difference in skin. This is after, obviously, and this is before. I like it when you can see the obvious patches of dry. Well, this old skin's kind of yellow as well. Just dead. my absolute favorite part this is so dead and thick it's done such a good job it's almost like scales on my feet and it's just like slowly breaking them down i love it the difference in skin all of this old stuff and then all of this lovely new smooth skin underneath i feel like this isn't ready yet but it will be I'm so excited to get it off. Ugh, I hate it. I hate it. I don't know if you can see all of that stuff <laughs> falling off. I feel like this just needs a bit of a, a soak and some exfoliation now. Still the odd patch of kind of dry orange skin, which I think might be fake tan. Obviously the heel still needs to do a bit of shedding. At the beginning I said I did have fake tan on and basically this is what it does. It just... Obviously it peels off a lot of skin and that skin will have fake tan on it. So if you are planning on fake tanning, I would definitely do foot peel. And then once you have all the new skin, then fake tan. Because otherwise it just will end up really patchy like this. So that is day seven. I feel like we're nearing the end of the process. But like my socks are still absolutely a mess inside. I mean, there's no, there's not much point in even trying to keep on top of the hoovering. I'm just going to wait till the shedding process is like over completely. Welcome to day eight and what I think is the last day. So I'm just bathing my feet at the moment to try and dislodge some of the like trickier bits. I just need them to um, soften up a bit and then I can exfoliate to get rid of some of this tan and some of the other bits. I've got some skin already floating around, which is great. Coming off quite well. I 
That's so much better though. Just getting the last of these kind of bits off. Come away quite well with a nail. Didn't want to use any kind of tool in case it was a bit harsh. And I don't recommend picking the skin in case it's not ready. And that's virtually all of the dry skin gone now. And they are so smooth and soft. Still a little bit here I need to scrape off. And maybe do some blending here with an exfoliating mitt. But I mean, ugh, they feel very fresh, very soft, really like as soft as hands, really. Day nine and my final foot day. I have put nail polish on for you because you've been looking at my yellow toenails for the best part of about 10, 15 minutes now. And I'm ready to show you my final feet. There's next to no dry skin on my feet at all now. Remember my old crusty heel, that's it now. So that's day nine and my last day of shedding and oh, crikey, like baby bottom, soft, so lovely. Can't stop feeling them so kind of lovely. I love this foot cream. It leaves your feet feeling incredibly soft and moisturized. Make sure I get my heel and it's just nice to do this a few times a week just to keep on top of all the drying skin, especially as it's summer now, and I'm wearing so many pairs of sandals all the time. And this just keeps them as moisturized as possible. And those are my beautiful new feet now. What do you think? Thank you very much for watching my Footner Foot Peel Diary. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did filming it. I love it. Please do give this a like if you also loved it. And if you want to see more from me, do please subscribe to my channel. All details for Footnote will be below in the description box. And if you have any questions, then please do ask me in the comments. And I guess I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you don't think I'm a total minger. And I will see you very soon. Bye.